Hi guys, Yuri here again. Welcome to YB Plays Music. So last week I showed you what major chords are and how we build them up uh, and how we can recognize them. Today I'm going to explain to you what minor chords are and how we can build those. Now, similarly to last week, there are two ways in which you can find these. The first way is starting off with the scale uh, based on that bass note. And the second way is a little bit similar but a little bit different as well as the one as last week. I'm going to explain to you guys, so stay tuned. I'm going to use a similar example as last week. So last week I showed you the C major chord and how we found that one. If you haven't seen that video, guys, the link will be somewhere above here and in the description down below. Now I'm gonna use the C minor chord for this example. You can do this for the other keys as well. But for the C minor chord, we can only use the notes in the C minor scale. So if we remember in a minor scale between the second and the third and between the fifth and the sixth note, there's only half a tone and in between all the rest, a full tone. So first of all, we need to find the scale in this method. This is a C minor scale. Uh, and that's because between the second and the third and between the fifth and the sixth, there's half a tone. So based on that, we can find the C minor chord, starting with the first note being the C, of course. Then finding the third note and the fifth. Play those three together, we have the C minor chord. So that's the first way. Second of all, if we don't want to search for the scale of that chord, then we can start off just with the C because it's called the C minor chord. So starting off with the C. And in the major chords, we had to then move up two full tones, then one and a half tones for the third note. And this one is the opposite. First, we have to move up one and a half tones and then move up two full tones. And then we have the C minor chord. So the difference between the C major and the C minor chord is actually the second note in the chord or the third note in the scale as well. So in the major it was this one and in minor it's this one being the only difference in the E. Right? So that's the difference between a major and a minor. And again, like last week, you can play this in different positions, like this. But the scale stays the same and the note stays the same. So it's actually the same chord every time. That's basically it, guys. You can use this in a different note as well. So do the same exercise like we did with the major chords. Take a random minor chord, for example, let's take the A minor chord, the A minor. So, let's start off by first searching for the scale. So that means between the second and the third, and between the fifth and the sixth, there's only half its own difference. Okay, then take the first, third and fifth note of that scale and we have the A minor chord. Or if you don't want to search for the scale, then start with the bass note being the A in this case. Then move one and a half tones up for the second note and then two full tones up for the third note. And we also have the A minor chord. So you can do this for all the other notes and chords, minor chords as well. I would advise you to do this and repeat this process for all the different basic chords, major and minor, and then you will get the hang of this uh, method and how these chords are formed and linked together. That's it guys, so in next week I'm going to show you what arpeggios are and I explained that in uh, a guitar for beginners video too, uh, but I'm going to show you on the keyboard, on a, on a piano, uh, what arpeggios are and how we can play them. So guys, I hope you learned something again today. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Also don't forget to check out my other tutorials. I have reaction videos and music videos for you guys to check out. So thank you very much and see you guys next time. Bye. Check out that video, link will be somewhere above here and in the... 
So based on that, we can find the C may is actually just the third note. It's actually the it's actually the sec in the major. There's full and one and a half tones between the th and in the and in the minor and then full two full and then full two. So that so that means between the second third. So be so that's it. So that's basically it, guys. You can do this for all the same. You can and repeat this. Uh, and repeat this 